So yesterday we were looking at the connection between multiplication and addition. Well today we're going to look at the connection between multiplication and other multiplication questions. So we're going to look at how we can show multiplication visually and, and how we can see calculations that are same or how we can take one calculation and see the link to another multiplication calculation. So I call those related facts because they're like linked multiplication facts. You can find all kinds of different connections, all kinds of different ways. Uh, let's get going. So we're going to start off playing the same game as yesterday, how many dots? Um, so I'm going to flash some dots up. I want you to see how many you think there are and write them down. Now, if you want a bit longer, you can pause the video, go back, have a look at the pictures again, or pause the video when it gets to the blank screen when you're working out how many dots. Feel free to do that. But otherwise, you could just keep, keep everything rolling. Okay, so here comes the first one. How many dots? Okay, say or, or write down how many you think you saw. And then when you're ready, let's have a look. Uh, how many dots were there? Well, there were 10, lots of three. So that's 30 dots in total. Here comes the next one. How many dots? Mm, what did you see this time? How is it linked to that first one? Pause the video if you need to, but how many dots were there? Well, there were, there were nine lots of three. It, it was three less than the one before. So there were nine lots of three in total. And that is 27. Okay, let's have the next one. How many dots this time? Hmm, have a think, what did you see? If you need to, pause the video. Let's have a look though. There were seven lots of five. I, I, I see four lots of five on the left and I see three lots of five on the right. Seven lots of five in total. That is 35 dots in total. And our last example for the warm up. How many dots? Hmm, what did you see that time? I wonder which multiplication number sentence you saw. Again, if you need to, pause the video, but otherwise, let's have a look. How many dots were there? Well, there were six lots of four, and six lots of four dots is 24 in total. Now, today's video is called I Know So. Now, we'll calculate with different numbers, some small and some bigger, and it really doesn't matter which number range you work in. But the thing that I want you to help to do is see connections between multiplication number facts and to be able to think, well, I know this answer, so I can work out another one. Now, that's such an important thing in maths, because in maths, if you can see connections between questions and you can think, well, I can use this thing that I know to work out another thing, it's so helpful in so many different ways. So I look forward to seeing how you get on. I'm going to move to my recording to show some of these examples. So first of all, my thanks to my friend, uh, Ansi Reddy and great maths brain, who's been on the phone giving me suggestions of things to do. And this is one of his ideas. Um, so let's have a look here. I have got, can you see there, there's, there's four and how many lots of four? Three lots of four, three lots of four. And of course we have 12. Um, or I guess we could look at that as we've got three and how many lots of three well we've got four lots of three and that is 12 as well of course let me put a box around that there now to see if we can find some related facts i want to i want to find facts that are that are linked to that one okay so three lots of four is 12 if, if i um add this in i think you can just about see that so three lots of four is, is 12 and um, let me write that down can we see it here three lots of Four is 12. I think we just about see that. So, well, what about four lots of four? It is 16. What, what's the difference? It is here. It is one more lot of four. Um, and okay, let, let's have a look at another related fact. So here I've got four lots of three. I'm going to change that to make it, let me just put them here. So you see four lots of three is 12 and I've changed that to make it now six lots of three and that is 18. And what's the difference here? Well, the, the difference is six because I've got another two lots here and um, two lots of three there. OK, now what about instead of so here is um, is four lots of three. How about I, if I double that? So let's have a look. So. 
So let's see if we can fit this in. So, um, so we've got four lots of three is 12. And if I double that, I have eight lots of three. And eight lots of three, well, it must be double four lots of three. It must be 24. Now let's have a little think about this calculation. Six times four equals 24. And I could see this as fours and how many lots of four? Six. Or I could see it as sixes. How many lots of sixes? Well, there are four. Um, now what I want you to do is pause the video now and see if you can come up with some other related facts. So multiplication facts that are linked to six times four equals 24. Um, have a go at, at writing them on a piece of paper. So what could those related facts be? Pause the video and then I'm going to show you some examples for you to complete as well. But see if you can come up with some of your own versions. Okay, now here are some calculations that relate to six times four equals 24. So I've got six times two, seven times four, 12 times four, and six times five. So again, pause the video now and two things. First of all, what are the answers to those questions? And secondly, most importantly, how do they link to six times four equals 24? Well, let's have a think about how those calculations link. Six multiplied by two compared to six multiplied by four. Well, the six is the same, but two is half of four. So it will be half as much, 12. Um, seven lots of four compared to six lots of four. That is one, two, three, four, five, six lots of four. So seven lots of four would be one, four more. Um, so it, it would be 28. Um, now, what about this one? Six multiplied by five. So, so this is one, two, three, four sixes. So five sixes would just be another six. It would be 30. And finally, well, 12 times four. Well, six lots of four here is 24. So 12 lots of four will be this again. Um, it will be double it. So six fours are 24. 12 fours will be Oh, I'm sorry, 48. So for today's task, just click on the link underneath the video from wherever you're watching the video from, and it'll bring open these tasks, task A, task B, and task C. Now, your job is to create your own related fact web, like, like the ones we've had a look at on the video. So for task A, it would be six times three equals 18. That's the number fact to go in the middle of your grid. Then think of as many different um, number sentences, multiplication ones that you can think of that link to six multiplied by three equals 18. Now for this activity, I want you to choose the challenge that's just right for you. You might decide that actually, oh, I don't want to use that number fact. I'm going to use a different one. Um, but just make sure it works. it works for you, whatever you choose to do. For part two, the suggested activity uh, are these questions here, and they are called I know and so questions. So the idea is you don't just work out what the answer is, but you think, well, I can see the, the fact above. How is it linked to the one below? So, so what's the link between six multiplied by five and eight multiplied by five? And explain that link. Now, I must say that task A is designed to be used for any children. Task B and task C, there are some multiplication facts there that children in year three may not have, have, have come across before. Um, so year threes, we absolutely love having you. Task A is certainly, uh, will certainly be designed for you. Now, it really doesn't matter which task you do because we want everyone to access this big idea of seeing how multiplication facts are linked so if you can do that, it really doesn't matter if you're using 6 multiplied by 3, 8 multiplied by 6, or, or whichever one that you're going for. I really hope you can see those facts. I would love to see some of the webs that you create. And uh, I'll be back for tomorrow. We'll extend this then. Well done for joining us.